What's up guys, I'm Harrison from Fast and Cheap here. Today we're going to be doing a comparison between a $500 Crown Vic and a $4,000 Lincoln Town car. We're going to get this car started up, it has been started in about three months, and here's the first cold start for you. Uh oh. Alright, so, got the Lincoln running. Very little effort. Crown Vic required a little more effort, but Harrison's gonna give it a go. And it's alive. It is alive. Doesn't sound incredibly healthy, but healthy enough, I would say. Police interceptor. Crown Vic, 4.6 liter V8. What are you thinking, Harrison? Hey, it's really smooth. It doesn't sound smooth, but for 208,000 miles, it's awesome. These are well-engineered cars. This is where Ford shines. I got my hand on the door, and I don't know if you can see, but my hand is shaking from how, from how rough it's idling. But what matters is it does idle. So I suppose while we're here, while we got the hoods up, we can take a look at what's under the hood. Um, same thing. This one's a little cleaner. Uh, but it is the 4.6 liter single overhead cam V8. I don't know. Make These years, they make probably around 230. This one makes 239 horsepower. I'd assume that makes the same. And it's pretty much the identical engine. But they're both alive. This one runs a little nicer, of course. But it's a comparison of a, what, $4,000 town car and a $500 Crown Vic. It had plenty of oil. I don't think it's knocking. Sounds like a rod knock to me, but... I don't know. Okay. Well, battery's dead again. We took it to uh, a place where we're going to record. Um, and then upon Harrison's drive here, it sounds like a rod is doing a little bit of knocking, um, which is not something you expect out of a 4.6, but it's also not super uncommon. It's got 200,000 miles plus and well it's dead again but that's really kind of upsetting it's kind of sad harrison what are you thinking how are you feeling thinking how to fix this in a parking lot uh, i think she's knock knock knocking on heaven's door all right sure <laughs> oh man well, I guess uh, this is the first thing about um, first thing to expect when you're buying a $500 Crown Vic, um, as lovable and let's fun. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's see. Let's drive to the auto parts store. Get a little oil. Put some oil. In. Do you have? I mean, I thought isn't it okay in oil? It's got oil. It's in the it's in the range of good, but. Uh, I just don't know if maybe it hasn't been driven in a while and maybe if injectors are sticking, but it does truly sound like... Sounds like a rod now. I mean, honestly, like, I'm not, I'm not, you know, an expert on cars by any means, and neither is Harrison. Sorry, Harrison. Um, but to me, to me, that sounds like, a, that sounds like a little more than a lifter tick. Kind of like a rod knock. But I could be wrong. I don't know. But um, the good thing, yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to jump it again. Right. But the good thing about these engines is when they knock, when they blow a rod or whatever or something, I don't know. Two hundred fifty bucks out of a junkyard gets you another one of these things, and it probably is a little less wet. 
Alright guys, we're gonna go round two with the 35 and 500 dollars. Whatever these things are. Alright, I'm gonna get this started. Come on, baby. Well, we I mean, do we open the hood or what? Hey, wait, 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 before you open the hood. I don't want this thing to burn down, man. All right, man, we're gonna get this open as soon as we can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh my goodness. Coolant. Something. Oh yeah, is that, that is coolant, right? That's not that's not like oil or anything. This is this is on tight, so this didn't fall out. Isn't that green fluid coolant? Yeah, it's one hundred percent coolant. Damn. We just pop blew something. It wasn't running hot, but no, it we, wasn't at all. We saw the. Uh, we saw <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa. Well, okay, so we're in a little bit of a predicament now. Um. Yeah, not really sure what we we should do from now, but um, but yeah, yeah. I mean, it's coolant. It's it's just coolant. Wow. Now where did it blow up? Found on road dead. That's the word right there. Found on road dead. Holy shit! There he is, an American hero. <laughs> I just noticed that. Is it really? Yeah, back there. So, we got our boy Gabe here, and uh, he's giving us a little assist uh, because it's just Harrison and I out here without anything to tow us back in. So, the boy coming out, lending a hand. We're going to try to get it back to the lot. We're going to try to. Tow it from there. Whatever works cool best. Yeah, On this episode of Fast and Cheap, we're gonna. On this episode of Stalled and Cheap. <laughs> Steep and cheap and immobile. Deep and cheap. Uh, yeah, yeah, deep and shit. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get a traffic citation and a felony. <laughs> <laughs> we're taking this bad boy to Target. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you get hit, man, hey, that would be a blessing. Man. Somebody, no, because you don't have insurance. Me, oh. Someone rear-ended me, and then I rear-end you. We're both getting new cars. <laughs> we're good, we're good. I don't want a new truck, <laughs> but I'll take one. Okay. Here we go. Got you. God bless America. I must say, I love the flag. <laughs> I love the flag. Hey, thank you. It's a uh, good ass flag. Amen. So, if this thing snaps, and you notice yourself getting any closer, 
brakes. Uh, just pump the brakes and hit the side of the road nice and easy and slow. The, the worst you could do right now is make a sudden movement. Okay. And wide, 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 wide turns. Oh! oh. <laughs> there it goes. Right, goes, right, goes to the right. <laughs> Yeah, uh, snapped the line. Um, hey, we did good. Hey, that was but good. That was good. Not too bad. We only have one one more left turn. Um, yeah. It'll be good to go, but we are just chilling on Central Avenue. I got a flashlight. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to back this thing up and we're going to do it again. Remember, wide turns. You turn when I turn, or vice versa. All right, there's no tension. I turn, you turn, we turn. Okay. Oh. There we go. Okay. We're in. Yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, that'll be eight hundred and seventy-five dollars. Uh, you take you take EBT? <laughs> I take food stamps. Ah <laughs> uh, shit. How the fuck we make it? Food stamps and American flag. Hey, I owe you dinner. Uh, yeah, let's uh I wanna I wanna figure out why it's leaking corn, cool. dude. It's got it. It's gotta be uh, a line going into the block. Oh. <sighs> we did push it out. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not, thankfully, it's not. Hey, that's where it was sitting. Yeah. <laughs> how, how can you tell? Are you just gonna like break down the gate full? full Shut up. Damn. Man, now you give me an idea. <laughs> oh, man. Is it in park? No. Oh, that's all right. Hopefully, it runs in the other. Let me get insurance first. <laughs> you insure? Right there. So that's our problem right there. Oh, this is actually a hypothetical biblical modulator gamma ray converter. Only certified technicians are allowed to use the tools and expertise that go into this. Um, so right here, these are actually uh, what are called seven level converter modulators. Uh, they open and close like this, so you can adjust them. Uh, this, is, this is spaceship mode. This is fighter jet mode. And this is uh, four door Mustang mode. And actually, we need to use aircraft mode because this thing's fast as shit. Takes flight. Yeah. When it runs. Oh, that's crusty, dude. We were going about 175 when this popped off. Yeah. We were actually the... in a hot pursuit. Um, <laughs> they had word that somebody broke into the Target in Toledo, the rioters and protesters. Um, so they were actually doing a citizen's arrest. And uh, they hit the hyperspace button in this thing and it couldn't handle the, the mock. I need better flyers, dude. I need aircraft flyers. Do I even have aircraft flyers? I know what dude who sells flyers. Aircraft flyers? All types. Yeah. They call them flyers. She was thirsty. Oh, dude, there's still needs a little bit more. I think that'll do it, though. All right. Should we let her go? Uh, yeah, let's do it. There's, there's another. Oh, there it is. Well, this video turned into a how to save a Crown Vic from. Crown Vic versus Town Car. No, they're not gonna be long enough. Looks like it's coming from the coil pack. Right there. Is that oil? I think it's just the coolant residue burning off. Oh yeah, that's probably what it is. It's just burning off. All right, guys, long story short, we, we're going to get to part two soon. We're, we're going to finish up part one as soon as we possibly can. Um, 
We're gonna get as much content as we can for you. We're both home for summer. COVID's kind of dying out. So, if you guys happen to know what coolant line might have blown, let me know. And if you don't, still let me know. Because the more comments we get, the more trending we get. So, say what you want. I don't care. Dislike it, like it. Again, I don't care. But please, support our cause because we gotta buy a $2 coolant line. Thank you.